What is going on guys, Daniel like AK Phoenix DTS coming back at you with another brand new episode of Filmmaker Reacts. Weekly show where I react to a film trailer or music video from a filmmaking perspective to help you guys understand what goes into making your favorite videos on the internet. You guys see what I'm wearing? You guys see? Team Wang? Team Wang? Jackson Wang is back with a brand new song, Should Have Let Go. It is a Chinese song foremost with a featured Chinese artist, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so it's not on the Jackson Wang channel, even though I guess it's still his song. Don't really know the details, but I know there's a music video and I know he's been promoting it on his socials. And if you know me, Jackson Wang is one of my biggest inspirations in just his pursuit of craft and his ambition and his creative process. Love the guy. So awesome. Would be amazing to work with, work for, something along those lines in the future or just be on that level in terms of content creation. So I'm super excited for this. It seems like I've listened to the song. It's very different than what we're usually getting at with Jackson, which I think is super impressive. He's got multiple layers to himself. The new God 7 stuff, which I've been reacting to recently. He produced one of the tracks there. You know, we've had 100 Ways and Pretty Please recently, and now we have Should Have Let Go. So I'm really excited to see how this is different, what kind of cinematics are we going to go in for. I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys right here. So let's check out Should Have Let Go. Team White. It's nice, it's clean, has such a great meaning. Very cinematic, starting out here in the rain. Let's get some volume. Okay, dual protagonists. I'm guessing it's gonna be Jackson and it's gonna show the other guy, uh, JJ Lin. So it looks like we're shooting either at night, you know, you do it either at night or with rain, or I mean in the rain or with rain machines. Rain machines, you know, like a little bit more manageable. You don't have to rely on the actual rain, but it could be done either way. Okay, nice and like, kind of like handheld, you know, the camera's a little shaky, so it's like we're right there on the, the bus with them. Okay, so, oh, okay, no, so I'm guessing this is J.J. Lin, obviously, and so, so we have him, and then we're gonna have Jackson, I guess we're gonna have a, just a separate storyline with just actors in the music video. I like the, this, so, in night photography, videography, or whatever, it's, it's a technique to just spray water everywhere, or just have water, you know, puddles, things have, have them be wet, because the water and individual droplets are super, super amazing at, reflecting light and that's you can totally tell that like with this light here and then just all the light is reflecting on all the little droplets just enhances the image so much man jackson looks so clean nice close up you know shallow depth of field you can see only this band is in focus and his hands aren't in focus the shirt isn't in focus really cool this red band reminds me of your name if you if you've seen that love that movie Do we have two different storylines for each person? Interesting, okay. I like the the lighting too. It's very like ambient and realistic. It's like he's just under a street light in a vehicle right now. Oh, okay. And the color kind of changed. It was very orangey and warm with Jackson and then it went to cold right here. You see that transition of color? Interesting, it's very cool. Man, Jackson's like the cleanest looking dude in K-pop, you know, with the hair. I tried to do the hair, didn't work out, so I switched it. Uh, I, yeah, so if you guys have any videos or recommendations of how to get the Jackson Wang hair, totally would aspire to that. that would be very helpful. Okay, so yeah, it's like multiple storylines going on. This video is, I can't, I'm losing track of how many storylines are, but this video is very cinematic. It's almost, I don't know, is this an accompanying piece to like a drama or a film or something? Because the shots look straight out of television. Seriously. This guy has a nice voice too. Yeah, this whole this whole bus set has a very shaky cam, like very personal in your face. I'm gonna use my phone as an example. They're just recording kind of like this, wobbly, because the bus is shaking and the cameraman's shaking. Nothing super precise. Oh, 
a nice, we got some nice bokeh. You can see with the circles in the background, that's when you have a shell of the field, the background, the lights, they turn into these bulbs. Ooh, that's really cool too. With the light shining through, the water droplets, they are coming down on the window, which are casting different light reflections on his face. That is cool. And even through the watery glass is cool. Nice slow-mo to kind of enhance the moment. The song is kind of slowing down, so it makes sense to use slow-mo right there. This guy has a very nice voice, too. I also want to say, another reason why I love Jackson so much is because he's not afraid to do his own thing and do what he wants to do. You know, he's very much wanting to become Jackson Wang global superstar, which I do definitely think he will achieve and be one of the first to do it. But I think also it's really important to Jackson that he's Jackson Wang from Hong Kong, Jackson Wang from China. And so he's promoting this Jap this Chinese song. And he is, like, like last album, his first debut album, Mirrors, had the Chinese version of I Love You 3000. So he likes to keep that, that hometown, that, those roots close to him in his own work. You know, it's not like he's just become a global superstar, you know, and we're just doing what the mainstream is and becoming whatever we want to do. That's not really his style. It's not, doesn't really fulfill him that much. You know, it's like BTS, you know, they've been breaking charts with Dynamite, right? And so if you wanted to maximize your success as BTS, what would you do? You'd create every song from here on out, be a full English song so it gets a radio play and it blows up. And then they would have total world dominance. They'd destroy Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande. They would take over the world. But that's not who they are. You know, they, they're K-pop, they're Korean. They like that, it's comfortable and they know it. This is, was a little foreign. I could tell that this wasn't 100% them. But they tried it out and that and they can do that, but they stick to their roots and I think that's important for all artists, Jackson, BTS, whoever. That's a very cool lighting. There's lots of like dichotomy of the lighting between like this very cool blue teal. I mean we call it teal and orange. It's, yeah, but this is just that to the extreme. The teals and the oranges, very much. Nice. And I also, what I like too about this video is that it's not a, it's not a K-pop video. This is not a K-pop music video. You know, there's no like super wide shots on a gimbal so that he can't move and seeing all the huge awesome choreo. We're not doing that. This is very cinematic, very dramatic, you know, tight, medium shots. We got some close ups, nice depth of field. Not, we don't see everything in focus because we're not focusing on everything, all the members at once. This is just a very, it's a solo music video. It's it's very, like I said, cinematic. It's like straight out of a TV show. It looks like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments section if they're just recording the parts with Jackson and JJ Lin and then intercutting them with, if this is TV footage or not, let me know. Or if they did all this for the music video. And then Jackson just, this is a very different avenue for him too. He hasn't done a lot of these soft, smooth songs. I mean, I Love You 3000 Chinese version was, but this is another cool avenue of songs that he hasn't really done to express his voice and his vocal range that is ever so growing and it's so amazing to see. Oh, that was a nice reverse tear. Oh, re reverse and everything. It's like the rain, you guys see the rain falling up? The tear one, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Fall apart. Fall apart. Oh. Fall apart. 
Love them. Team Wang. So there you guys have it. Jackson Wang, JJ Lin. Should have let go. A very personal, intimate music video that kind of moved away from lots of the K-pop influences that some of his previous music videos have had. I'm not sure if this is just a holy Jackson Wang project or if this is a true collaboration with JJ Lin and other influencers as well, but uh, again, a very different shade of color for Jackson. I'm really a big fan of that, you know, expressing multiple colors and shades of himself. I like to see that as, as we move on with the personal growth. What are your guys' thoughts? How does this compare to Pretty Please? How does this compare to 100 Ways? Let me know which is your favorite in the comment section below. And let me know about the hair too. I'm wondering. But anyways, guys, this has been me, Daniel, like APDC TS. Don't worry, we got some more GOT7 videos. I think I'm gonna be doing You Calling My Name next. Make sure you're subscribed for that one coming at you very, very soon. And we're gonna be doing Miracle because it's a holiday time. So anyways, don't forget to follow me on social media. Keep up with the news on the channel. If you did enjoy the video or learn anything, I ask you please drop a like and subscribe for new videos every week. And don't forget to find yourself, be yourself, and love yourself. Hi guys, Daniel aka Phoenix here, checking in with you guys at the end of the video. If you did enjoy what you saw, please check out one of these other two videos, or just like the video and subscribe down below for a video every single week. Thank you guys, I love you, have a good one.